The plate is now dry and I've removed it from the ADC2. So now we have the plate and I'm going to insert it inside the visualizer so that we can acquire images after development. Again, we just put the plate inside the visualizer, slide it to the back in the positioning device. And I turned on the white light manually just so you could see inside, but normally you don't need to turn any lamps on. Uh, you can just basically put the plate inside and shut the door. And now we will move to the software where we will acquire the appropriate images. Now we're going to move to the next step. As you can see, as before, the software is showing us what we need to do. We've inserted our plate. We've closed the front door and now we're going to click continue in order to acquire the images after the development step. You'll notice up here as each step is complete you'll have a check mark on each icon. So we have completed the clean plate uh, imaging, the sample application, we just completed the development step and now we're going to acquire images after development. We'll click continue and the visualizer will automatically turn on the appropriate light sources and acquire the images accordingly. As before, when we acquire an image, you will see a preview here on screen of the image. Right now it's doing the white reflected and transmitted light. And there's that image can't see a whole lot under that light source we should be able to see some more detail under the different UV light sources it's currently doing the 254 and there's our 254 nanometer image and next and last will be the 366 long wave UV you'll notice the dark line on the plate here that is most likely due to the plate being a little bit dirty when I used it. Uh, I probably should have uh, rinsed the plate, pre-washed the plate beforehand, which is something we typically recommend doing where you would just develop the plate in uh, methanol all the way up to the top of the plate and then dry the plate thoroughly. And that will reduce the likelihood of getting this sort of uh, dark band at the top. For this particular application, uh, it's okay. We're not really concerned about the tracks that uh, excuse me, the um, fractions up here at the top near the solvent front, we're more concerned with what's down here. So, but, uh, but yeah, you can get rid of that by doing a, a pre-wash of the plate. And then lastly, we see the 366 nanometer uh, 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 image that we've acquired. And so now we, if we're happy with these, which I am, we'll click on accept all. And now it's going to tell us to go to the next step in the process, which is a derivatization.